coconut avocados. Could too much of a good thing be bad? The experts say there's something metallic in those foods, our water, and more that could be making us all feel miserable. CBS2 explores the metal mystery. I have this mental funk, anxiety, focus issues. Exhausted and felt like crap. Sound familiar? People come in with very non-specific symptoms. They will feel moody, have a bit of a depression, difficulty falling asleep. After some investigation, internist Dr. Svetlana Kogan says increasingly she finds copper is the culprit. Copper is an essential element. Like iron, Dr. Kogan says our bodies need copper for normal growth and health. Certain foods like shellfish, leafy greens, cashews, and chickpeas, she says, are naturally high in copper. If somebody is consuming excess, they could certainly be at risk. At risk for a condition known as copper toxicity. If you had six cups of coffee and you're feeling jittery, that's the feeling to describe copper toxicity. An increase in vegetable-based diets may also be contributing to copper overload, says Kogan. Vegetarians are not getting enough foods that are supposed to displace copper, like beef, chicken. Those foods are sometimes uh, necessary in this high copper environment. Environmental exposure to things like copper water pipes may also be a factor. We always recommend to have your water tested. Rob Zadati with Gold Metal Plumbing says if the pH of your water is not within a safe range, it'll start to deteriorate the lining of copper pipes. And while you might not be able to taste the copper in your water, there are other telltale signs it's there. Bluish stains or greenish stains on their tubs. Gold Metal Technical Field Supervisor Mike Jackson recommends a water filtration system. As for the treatment of copper toxicity, Kogan prescribes this infrared sauna. The patient is sweating out the toxins. But most importantly, as she outlines in her book, Diet Slave No More, Kogan says it's important to eat foods that are balanced. Full of rainbow-colored vegetables and fruits, and avoiding focusing on just one food group. And the experts say prolonged use of estrogen medications such as birth control pills may also contribute to an increased level of copper in the body. And several studies have shown daily exposure to copper can lead to Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia.